This Real Estate Buzz segment is brought to you by McLeod & Associates, a full-service real estate and mortgage firm. It's not about the number of homes we sell. It's about the difference we make in people's lives. Kasama natin si Mia McLeod. And if you guys are thinking about buying your uh, home, we have a lot of questions. And I'm sure, you know, we uh, want to take every opportunity to ask Mia since she's here. Mia, let's talk about this. If you are a first-time buyer, what are the questions that will be coming up? Well, one of them that I know people always ask is, what are my upfront costs that I will incur? Mm -hmm. This is different from closing costs, so upfront costs. And I always try to educate our buyers that, you know, there are inspections. As a buyer, there's a period called a contingency period where you will be doing your due diligence, where you do a lot of your homework to see if you really want to consider pushing Bye. through, okay. right? And one of those is the appraisal. One is an appraisal, one is a home inspection, and you have to remember if you decide to cancel out, those costs are non-refundable. Okay, how, how, much how much are we talking about? Okay, so home inspection, depending on the size of the property, can range anywhere from $295 to $395 typically. Okay. And an appraisal is roughly about $500. But these are all things to really help educate you, make sure the value is there, make sure you're buying the, the house for the value mm -hmm. that it's worth, mm -hmm. making sure you get a home inspection, making sure things that you don't see to the naked eye, you can get further evaluation on okay and those are the two main things sometimes additional inspections will incur it depends on on the buyer and the and the property if you feel that mold evaluation is needed on this particular property then you might want to go a little bit more specific but those inspections will be upon the buyer okay. the buyer's cost and will not get refunded if you decide to cancel okay yes. so let's say um, I I'm interested in a house how long does the process usually take uh, mga ilang linggo or buwan ba Okay, well, great question, and from beginning, I want to say not just interested, but from the beginning of touring to closing escrow, on average, 90 to 120 days. So that's why it's a, it's a long process. It doesn't happen overnight. Like, I want that house, and you get in there, you know, two weeks later. It doesn't work like that. So on average, 90 to 120 days, you have to take into consideration touring. Mm. Um, how flexible is your schedule? How available are you to tour weekends, weeknights? Then once you get into escrow, that period alone takes anywhere from 30 to 45 days until you close up and get your keys. Okay, so right? what parties are involved when you purchase a house? I I ilan bang mga tao? Okay, oh my gosh, this is a great question. It's really like an orchestra, to be honest. You have your buyer, then you have the realtor representing the buyer, then you have the seller, of the, the owner of that home, mm -hmm. and their realtor representing that sale, right? And then you have the lender, the bank that's going to lend you the, the money, the three hundred or the four hundred thousand dollars that you're going to borrow. Mm -hmm. And the lender and the bank alone has maybe five, six different people on itself: funder, account manager, underwriter, processor, all that fun stuff. Ang daming tao. Yes, and then you got the escrow company. They deal with all the money. They're the neutral party. Um, you have the title company because let's say, um, gee, you find a property and that property has bail bonds or IRS liens that currently with the current seller you want to make sure that that doesn't get transferred over to you as the new homeowner so title needs to transfer that clean and clear issue you a report make sure you understand what was on title previously and make sure it's all cleaned up then you've got the appraiser and the home inspector so you can see easily on one file 20 different people my which, goodness which is why it's so important to make sure you work with the right real estate team that's right and now um, everybody's asking yes. when you buy a house sinong magbabayad ng realtor services okay another great question uh, buyers think that they always have to pay for the realtor's commission mm -hmm. and, and yeah it's based off of commission so what you have to understand is the seller before you even saw that property more than likely the seller already met with the listing agent and they already agreed on what the compensation is so compensation is paid by the seller now if you go in G and you buy a property and then three years later you come back to us and say you're ready to sell this now you will be responsible for paying for that commission. Okay, so the so. seller is responsible for the commission, not the buyer. Yes, not the buyer. There okay. are some very rare cases, sometimes different um, states do it differently, but for the most part in California, yes. Okay, and, and I know that um, in the past you've said when you're purchasing a home, you do not want to switch jobs. Why again? Okay, well, a, a number of reasons. Now, remember when you apply for a loan, the banks want to see two years of consistent work history in the same industry. Mm -hmm. So if you go from nurse to nurse, that's okay. If you go from nursing to like a teacher, they're going to find a big 
problem with that because it's a chain in industry. Now it's a two-part thing. Now let's say you're in escrow G right now and you're going from um, nursing at one hospital and then you want to move to nursing at Kaiser. Just talk to your loan officer, make sure you understand how that switch is going to affect you because sometimes the bank will want to see two pay stubs from your new employer before they fund that loan. I got it. I don't want to get so detailed, right, but yes, yes I got it. just okay. meet with the loan officer to make sure you understand how that might affect your okay. escrow. Yes. All right, so quickly, can we give tips for the first time uh, home buyers, please? Um, uh, well, oh, listen to the advice of your realtor. Yes. yes. <laughs> this is great. Let me tell you because that you have to make sure if you trust your realtor, then you should have no advice, uh, no problem listening to their advice. What ends up happening a lot of times is you have the professional coworker that's giving you advice, but uh -oh. not a realtor. Yeah, so kailangan pakinggan nyo yung realtor nyo. And yes. of course, communicate with your realtor all the time. Be real realistic with your expectations. And the most important, you've said this over and I over know. again, I get, get pre-approved. Pre yes, yeah. I just want to advise our Kababayans. And you know, this is the whole point of us getting on this show, is just to be a community resource. Set them up for success when they get into the, into the buying realm. Thank yes. you so much, oh. Mia. And I wanted to mention, I have a shirt for you, oh. the Ninja Realtor shirt. And for those who want one, we give these away. Follow us on Facebook. We do um, little trivias on there. Um, we give away um, AMC movie tickets once Wonderful. in a while. So Yay, you can find that. us on Mia McLeod and the McLeod team right there. All right. right. Thank you so much. Okay. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat for tuning yeah. in to Kapabayan Today. Ako po si G. Tonji. Salamat po.